Hello, my Moon Shadow Sprites. Uh, today is kind of a weird day. Um, a few bits of rage happened around at different points of the day. But uh, for those who are wondering, I will, um, the next episode of Unexpected Encounters is going to come soon the second part of the first of the actual first episode however this video is for something different see i am a lego connoisseur and a fan of minecraft and for those who may or may not know they they have minecraft lego sets and you might ask Moonshadow, what does that have to do with anything? Well, these are all sets from my birthday. I apologize that my room is messy. This is just how I live. Um, and well, we've got the um, the deep dark, a Minecraft, uh dungeon set hopefully by this christmas i'll be able to get both or have both uh the sky base and the uh nether bastion you might still be asking moonshadow why is this matter i have decided to make a small little board game now not an official board game with like the box the rules the cards ev and everything it's more of a fan-made game using these specific Lego sets. All rights reserved to Minecraft. This is purely fan-made. Now, how the game works. It basically works with each character. For example, this person. This person basically will have... Uh, since it has an upgraded bow and upgrade and uh up and sorry enchanted crossbow and enchanted hoe they the player gets to decide what enchantment they have but they can only choose one they can only choose one enchantment for any enchanted lego objects the mobs work the same as normal but their attacks like as their attacks are normal as well but their attacks will have to will have the same amount of damage. You also need to create a health point system, small little health point system, to for for your own for your own health, like your like the own player health. And then health well technically these guys will have eight HP. These guys will have whatever HP they had in the game. Any mobs will have the same amount of HP they'll have in the game. However, if they are bosses like the Warden or the Redstone Monstrosity, you will have to look up that stuff. You may have to look up st that stuff for a lot. Now, chests. How chests work, it's kind it's kind of weird. The chests will work as as like little giving things, uh little well, but they are chests. They will give you specific i they will give you specific items and you'll have to use them. Now, one more one more thing. Potions. You can decide whatever potion it is, but it cannot be a splash potion unless it's different. Nor can it be well uh two potions. It and besides it but depending on how many you have, it's that amount of uses you can't take anything back and also for battleground if you got any spare plates like uh the green plates that's fine um but other than that the entire battleground is really the sets themselves and each set is its own deck for example the redstone monstrosity comes with deck is the redstone monstrosity a redstone golem this little piggy dude and then the four characters that come with it 
Now for weapons, you can decide that like swapping, but you cannot uh, like swap weapons if you're already in battle. That is not allowed. Now there are also home bases. For example, the sky base for you can have like, you can uh, basically have players fight in there, maybe in the tower, whatever needed. But there are also captains. Captains are how you win the game, or sometimes win the game. Uh, there are two ways to win it. One, you can either take out the captain, which would be either a mob or an actual player minifigure. Or you take out all the mobs. Those are the only two modes. It's captain mode or fight to the death. If it's fight to the death, uh, any any mob will work. If it's captain mode, you have to choose a specific cap. You have to choose a one specific mob. Can't be like, for example, uh, two piglins. One's an archer. One's a brute. You. You could choose, like, this brute is my captain, and you have to stay like that. It has to stay like that. The rules are kind of nonsense if I speak it out loud, because I stutter sometimes, or a lot, really. Um, that's just the way it is. Hopefully, in the description, I'll actually give you a whole set of rules about how everything works. Uh, oh, one more thing. Um... For sets like the Bastion and the Deep Dark, there are these uh, TNT blocks, and in some sets, the TNT tends to explode certain parts of the set. That is allowed, but you can only allow one TNT explosion. And then after the entire battle, you have to reset everything if you're planning to play with someone else. Now, I will like to restate this again. This is purely a fan-made game. I am not sponsored by LEGO or Minecraft at all. This is just something I personally wanted to make. And I also plan to make another fan-made Minecraft game, but that will only be available in a specific gaming platform called GDevelop. Which is kind of hard to get sometimes. Anyway, hope y'all enjoy. Uh, oh, a uh, few more things, actually. Uh, say you had, like, this guy, an elytra and a firework. Firework is a one-time usage, and the elytra you can use three times. Any elytras you can use three times. Any items is a one-time use unless it's weapons or an enchanted weapon. For example, a trident. This was an enchanted trident. So you could decide the enchantment, and then it, and then that would decide, like you know, its enchantment and crap. Anyway, uh, hope you all enjoy. If you have your own decks, that's good. If you don't have any decks, I apologize, and you will not be able to play this game. Hope you all enjoy this new fan-made game. Uh, it depends if you actually want to play it or not. I personally do not know. But I hope you all enjoy. And this is the Moonshadow Spectre, signing off.